Hi, FBRs. Welcome back to another episode of Forbidden Rubbish. Welcome back, everyone. Hey, hey. Hey. Thank y'all for tuning in. We hope y'all are having an amazing week so far. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Wish you had a great weekend and everything is just as it needs to be. Do that laundry. Don't let it sit on your bed like mine. Don't, Don't let it pile up. <laughs> I like doing laundry. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. Yeah. Yes. Hey, hey. Tell okay. a friend if you haven't. Leave comments. Tell we a friend. We do read you yes. guys' comments and we love your feedback. We appreciate mm-hmm. all the feedback. Yep. Yes. Yep. I agree with that. So. All right. So let's jump on right on in today's topic. <laughs> what is, what are we talking about today? I forgot what we named it. Honestly. What did we name today's topic? And girl. I just put like words. I just put words. Yeah, me too. <laughs> on this one because it's just. So the topic is basically, um, and this is also a trend that I, well, I don't want to call it a trend, but it's definitely a social media thing going around. Being discussed. Yes. Where um, some people are bothered by us saying phrases like good morning um, and they're switching it for like grand rising and just mm-hmm. words and things that they feel like we adopted from slavery that we are kind of just <clears> still, <throat> yeah, incorporating saying in our daily life. So mm-hmm. that's kind of the topic of discussion today. That's the TOD. Yes. All right. So, so. yeah, topic of discussion. Topic of discussion. So I felt a certain way. So let me just say this. I was driving from Houston to Dallas and I heard, um, this radio personality, of course, she's African American, mm-hmm. and she was talking about, um, she was talking about just that. She was mm-hmm. like, a lot of you are out there saying good morning, and you don't know where it originated from. Right. And we're gonna do a whole segment about all those words that came from slavery. So mm-hmm. tune in. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I want to, I want to hear. Right, it right. And then I started researching, mm-hmm. and then I was like, hmm, I don't agree. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you don't agree on so. is it a particular word or? Well, I didn't even, so what I wanted to do was look up some of the common words, phrases mm-hmm. that you have. Like, I know there are some words and phrases that are going around. And then um, people don't know, like a lot of our food. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. But you, but you probably already know that a lot mm-hmm. of our food. Did you look up the word? Well, so. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> No, okay, so, well, okay, so what are your thoughts about good morning? Take that for it. So I watched a TikToker to mm-hmm. see where it came from. Well, mm-hmm. I, and then I watched another TikToker, um, but this was after I did my research. He came back and he was like, hey, you guys, good morning started. What y'all laughing at? <laughs> what you laughing at? I promise. What <laughs> I do? No, I'm just, no, nothing. Come here. So, uh, <laughs> so another researcher was like, um, I researched and he was like it started in the Middle East Tish mm-hmm. I came with you mm-hmm. no in uh, 1150 and 1508 is where the phrase good morning started mm-hmm. and um, he was talking about how people in slavery they did use it the wrong way but they're not the ones who originated mm-hmm. it they took took it like they do everything else and they made it a bad thing so that's what changed my views and on, I'm gonna circle back around. On so, Good Morning, particularly. So, how right. was it originally used, or how did? Well, how here's did my origi- thing um, when the, with the TikToker. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, who was around to know how, that slaves did that? I, mm-hmm. I just want to be like, I'm right. just yeah. When yeah. I started, I'm like, who told you that? Because ain't nobody from the the 1800s yeah. or when slavery was around told you that. Yeah. They're, the last person died in 2017. So who yeah. who told you that? So I'm trying to figure out. Okay, because when I did my research, I found that the word "good morning" derived from like when the slavery, <clears throat> when during slavery time, when the um, slaves, uh, the slave masters, uh, like killed a loved one or whatever. Um, of course, they're mourning and weeping over right. their loved one. And so the next day they would basically ask them, did you have a good morning? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. how was your morning? I mean, you right. know, like it has taunting to them. Do. Is what you yeah, yeah, I saw yeah, that. Basically. But my question then begins. Says who? Thank you. Like, says who? Okay. Because so nobody that's in that when... era is, is alive. Did they have, okay. do they have scribers? Like, so my thing is, I and for that word specifically, I did not look up the etymology of the word, oh, but you better okay. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying we all know that words do derive 
uh, that words in itself have a frequency and a yeah. vibration. And so um, yeah. our subconscious mind, I always go back to that because our subconscious mind never forgets. It lives, it's energy, mm-hmm. so it never forgets. And so we're, a lot of the times, we're in a spiritual warfare against our flesh because our conscious mind is like, good morning, how you doing, girl? We're greeting you, wishing you well on your way. But the subconscious mind is like, hold up, because mm-hmm. this means something else. Mm-hmm. And so you don't, so it it affects you internally and externally. But my thing And is- so you don't know that, but... Again, I didn't look up. I didn't look up etymology. I, I went off of what I heard that good morning came from that. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying the people who are saying that, how could they know that it came from that when, when slave owners didn't originate the word good morning to begin with? Well, that's why I say you have to go to the origin of the word. So maybe they did the research and found out what good morning means because it's a lot of words that derive mm-hmm. from something totally complete, you know, completely I ag- different. I agree. I do think it, it could have, that slave owners could have used it that way, but they didn't Let's come up with it. it. I think they, the word was, the phrase was established way back in like 1150. Yeah. But it's the thing. Okay. They may have not come up with it, but if, if a uh, slave masters were using it from that in that right. way, that vibration, it holds that vibration. Yeah, I agree. My only thing about that, you're still saying where's the proof that that's what it was done where's the no proof? no i i think that it was definitely could have been done uh-huh. my thing is this though they also use the n-word with an er and we switch it to an a and we proudly say it mm-hmm. so what is again he, you said they also, yeah, they just, also use the n-word with an er and we drop the er and put an a on it and we quote that every day like it's nothing I mean, so you're saying, is that a word curse as well? I'm sa- that's the same thing. Even yeah. if they took something that was one way and made it something else, we still do that too. We do still do that. But again, let me see. So when I was like going that. to go research these words, I'm like. They've been here forever. They've been here forever. And it's just. So this is the thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat myself again. <laughs> <laughs> No okay. matter how many times words change over the time, you know what I'm saying? Words can change a million times, but it all goes back to where it derived from. And if it holds that energy, if it's a negative energy, a uh-huh. word that possesses a negative vibration, it's going to still pick it up no matter how you mean it. No TV. matter how you say it, what form you say it in, your subconscious is still going to pick up on that on that phrase, on on where where it came from. So I feel like there is nothing new under the sun, and every word can be changed from generation to generation. We always redefine words, so I really can't look at that in a negative sense, and I really can't say it derived from there because they're not the origin. They just took something, and they used it a bad way. But were they saying mourning? Like mourn or mourning? They're saying more. They took the they took good morning and made it good m o u r n like good okay. crybaby morning. But I'm still so, trying to figure out why a movie ain't made that up yet and why it ain't been no TV shows about that yet. Like as far as they did slavery stuff and why would the master go in there and be like good morning to mock good morning to mock mm-hmm. to mock? Okay, him. but okay, but well, see, this is the thing. The English dictionary was created again because it's spiritual warfare. To purposely, purposely create that dynamic of that frequency. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So just like when you say week, weekdays, we look at it as in days of the week, but your subconscious mind may pick up being weak W-E-A-K. physically and being in a daze, being in a daze, and and. I that's was why researching, that, that's, that's and that, that makes sense because, because girl, the, at work, girl, I can barely remember sometimes what happened the next, like the day before. Right. I have my work schedule in. Right. And sometimes you find yourself like in a daze, like you can't really sometimes remember, right. but words have that frequency where you're saying week, oh, what y'all going to, oh, it's the weekday, it's the weekend. Like, mm-hmm. I agree that words definitely have that's power. They do, but don't you have the ability to behind the motive of putting the power to the word without that it's just a word it's just a word well if it's subconscious you wouldn't know 
that you need to have the power to rebuke that word yeah. on the spiritual realm. So if you're just going, now I do I do agree on that point. If you're just going, I agree with both of y'all now because if you're just going and going mm-hmm. and you don't realize what they're doing, but see that goes back to time is not real. The construct of time is not real. They created all of this. The days, the month, they did all of this stuff, and so I think we're all living under one big. But when you have to do that with every word though, every and, word, and a lot of words, every word like that though. Right. That's why I that's why I like stick that. with good morning because I'm like at this point I have to change everything on things. You would have to change but everything. But I think it goes back to your conviction, like we talked about with the holidays. If that word just really, really doesn't resonate with you. Then you do what mm-hmm. you feel like you, you need to do. But if right. somebody say good morning to you, you know they don't mean bad, don't be like yeah, it's oh, it's like wait a minute now. I'm just saying hi, right. yeah. <laughs> because some exactly. people just don't know. But I think it goes back to what resonates see, with you. Exactly. And so, like I was gonna say, like I don't get mad because I, you know, I'm a grand rising person. You'll correct them in a minute, though. Well, no. Hey, good morning. No, grand rising to you. No. <laughs> like, no, a lot of people at work still tell me good morning. I'd be like. Good morning. You know what I'm saying? I want to yeah. say, but I'm like, it doesn't offend me right. anymore because I'm like, we're not on the same frequency. So you right. don't know. And right. I, we, we operating on two different, you know, frequencies. You're not so at. you're right. not, we're not on the same one. But I just feel like, so, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I was going to say with like grand rising, because I remember you said that it meant rise and fight, rise and fight. Like that resonated well with my spirit. But for me, it didn't <laughs> because as a, for me as a Christian, it feels like you don't need to rise and fight your battles. Somebody else is supposed to do that. So mm-hmm. it di- it doesn't resonate mm-hmm. with me. And my I guess my thing is, not you, okay. but I'm saying like there are a lot of people who are making these videos. My sister, see, 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 see. Grand rising and see. And yeah. my thing is this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What it's doing, though, uh-huh. like perfect example, like you said, people say good morning to me. I don't get offended. I say good morning back. Yeah. Not everybody is that mature. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and so what it's doing, when you think about it, when you, because I always, this is my phrase, I don't do fluff and stuff. When you mm-hmm. get to the root of it, it's causing division, mm-hmm. bitterness, Confusion. anger. It's doing all these things, but it doesn't change what happened at all. Right. And right. so when yeah. I was doing my research, I was at home. I was getting ready to do this topic, and mm-hmm. I just happened to be listening to Casey J the gospel singer, and it was the song Journal on. Mm-hmm. And the song Journal has the lyrics that basically says, Lord, write your word on my heart. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even thinking about the song. It was just playing. Mm-hmm. And it's just like all of a sudden I just felt like the only word that ever will matter is the word of God. That's the only one that's going to stand. That's the only one that will remain. Mm-hmm. Nothing else matters. So I was like, okay, I'm going to write this topic. But mm-hmm. then I got to thinking some of my points was revisiting the past because that's mm-hmm. what we're doing. Even if we are talking about what they did in slavery days, we're revisiting the past. And every time you revisit that with those words or sayings or anything they did, you dredging up hurt and emotion and you resurrecting it and giving power all over to it again, whether you know it or not. Mm -hmm. You're just instead of letting it die, because generation to generation, if we don't talk about it and we're moving way past slavery, generations behind us will never know. So it won't play in their subconscious because they'll never know where it came from or any of that. So would that be the same as in having history lessons of the past in school? Like, should school not? And that's my, that's So, like, should they not talk about it because it it happened Mm -hmm. in the past? But Mm -hmm. should we not teach it? In the current? No, it's this. One, so and that's a good question. Is it reliving it? You know what I'm saying? No, it's this. It's this. <laughs> <laughs> We're already fighting. I like what y'all saying. We're already fighting to keep <clears throat> black history in schools. So when you when when people go and create false black history, it's bad enough we're trying to keep black history there. So now you got CCC people and it's false black mm-hmm. history and we're already fighting to keep the original black history in schools. And no, it's not like we shouldn't teach it. This is what it feels like for me. If you are a child or somebody and your parents or somebody <clears throat> in your family said you will never be nothing, you stupid, you're going to be like your daddy. You not choosing to repeat or bring up those words don't make you sleep or not woke. Mm-hmm. It, you're, you're not oblivious. You know what was done and what was said. Exactly. You not bringing that back up 
empowers you to redefine and, and do something else because it's still revisiting the past exactly but i'm saying so in in that sentence if it was a word that they took out of that sentence and changed it to another meaning even you know where that that word derived from would it hit a trigger it and, might and, and, and it may not hit a trigger to somebody who don't know what it derived from but that person's subconscious mind may pick up on it i agree and it might hit a trigger it might Mm -hmm. But do you let it hit a trigger and correct yourself or do you spit it like venom and spread it everywhere? So that's what I'm saying. I'm into it. I'm listening. <laughs> Y'all just go because it's like, this is well, no, I'm just saying. So, I mean, so do you it, do you act like the word didn't exist? Well, they didn't create the word to begin with. They just took something and they use it the, the wrong way. But, but so I go ahead. Y'all keep. OK, so. Do we know for sure they did that? No. Because I nobody put it past though, because a lot of things we don't know. No. But that's that a we, hypothetical. But we, we run so we with, working on we running on I'm a saying, hypothetical. We well, we running on a hypothetical with everything because we heard that they used to take uh, the babies and the alligators babies and feed them to the alligators, but we we didn't see it done. We don't have no video to say it. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> we running with it because But I'm why are we running with it though? I guess that's where I'm going. But here but let me say this, because it was some of the things I wrote down. Okay, go ahead. One y'all changed the N word. We we did that. So if you're gonna talk about them changing good morning, let's talk about us changing the N word. We, and we you mean in the in our community we yes. changed it. Because I think they still say it the way it's supposed to be said. We, if they want to. But we took the word and we, we adopted it. We yeah, redefined we adopted it and it. made it a term of endearment. Right. How is that any different? Do you agree with that word? No, I say sucker. I, that's so when you be like that sucker because i try not to say the n-word it's like well you have to retrain yourself i gotta look it up again but i could have sworn what's this okay it's the rapper uh krs1 and i i feel like i looked it up before but nigga is really like an endearment like basically saying you're a king it's not it means ignorant nigger it means ignorant but does nigga mean ignorant? I well, know nigro nigga, mean no, black. It don't, I'm but saying I'm like saying if, but a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. If you though. look in the dictionary, it may say one word, but when you look to the beginning root of the word, the original, the origin of it, it may derive for something else. So it goes and back so, to good morning then, because what you're saying is, although they didn't originate good morning, they took it another way. They might they not originate a nigger, but they it. redefined the word to us when we were slaves. And like, they you gave dumb the nigger. word. The N a word, new meaning. and we redefine it. So I just don't understand this too. How is that different? I just don't understand how that's different. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say another thing they did. They treated us like childbearing factories, and we still pump out five and six and seven kids. Like they didn't start that. They gave us hog mogs and bad. Okay, stuff to so eat. that's the thing. So exactly. So when but do we stop operating in what like the Jim Crow era? When do we stop doing things that derived from that? For me, even with the word good morning, because I don't I have to look up the etymology of the word. But I'm just saying, when do you stop j just operating in that time? I don't think for me it's a it's a stop operating in that time. I think it's let that time die. One of the things that came into my spirit when I was listening to Casey J um, was you were created for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. They fought the battle in that time for what was going on. And we're so busy reaching back to their battle that we're not fighting ours. So then you feel like we shouldn't teach our history. In, I, I don't feel like lesson. that's our history. I feel like it's, it's until, until it's documented for sure. Like I said, the last person who mm. existed during slavery died in 2017. There is no scroll. There is nobody to say to, to tell us that that's what happened. It's just now it's that's just gonna go deep now. Okay. Okay. It sure is. I'm, 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 not I'm not saying it didn't happen. So what are we gonna I'm not saying that. Oh. I'm saying so we gonna teach a bunch of hearsay. Well, I'm saying that's what we're doing with the Bible. But well, the Bible has mm. proven stuff. They just not too long ago found one of the caves that belonged to David. And this was Scientologists who don't believe in God. Yeah, the Scientists. And they found David's cave with his markings and his writings. But I want to go back to slavery. But real you quick. don't know who I'm. But I but let me go back to that what you just said about hearsay. Dan Calloway mm -hmm. says that all of it is hearsay. So even if we say good morning, 
He's saying, I don't know if you know who he is. I know you listen to him, but he mm-hmm. says that a lot of the characters were fictitious characters that were made up. He's saying, find the character, find me that it was a real person, and I will believe it. Yeah. So he's on the line of it was all fake but, to keep us in line. I mean, because it's but history. I'm saying, it's, and history is his story. But I, I'm saying you need to Ooh. tell. I think I think but you need to you tell. Do I think you words. need to tell history so that you don't revisit it and you have knowledge of. But I'm just saying, in this light, what is it doing? What's the motive? What is it going to change? I think it's but, a trend. What is it going to change? What is it going to do? No, I think it's a trend. Trend that, that the, 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 the the people get on TikTok be like, see what happening. Yeah. But, but I do think I do? do think it causes division. I do think that and I, but, bitterness but, and, and hatred. I don't know. I, no. I don't, it's what it's, it's with the TikTokers. Take it that far because I don't. Oh, they taking it far. No, with the TikTokers, no. not the true researchers. True okay. researchers who spend their like time that. in if a you book. Say good morning. Say good morning. But I'm gonna say Grand Rising because, like you said, you don't want to. What did you use? Like for me, Grand Rising is, and even after hearing you saying it's to uh, rise, 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 and fight. Up, rise, rise and fight. Me all my life, I was like Oprah all my life I had to fight. <laughs> I didn't have to fight, but I've always been a fighter, and yeah. whether it be physically or just I'm I'm I'm, I'm I always stand firm on what I believe. I'm a fight for my loved ones. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fight for whatever I right. believe in, and so that's that's what resonates with me. So I'm gonna rise every day, grand rising, because I don't know what's coming my way, but I'm a I'm a tackle battle. it, whatever whatever comes, I'm I'm gonna tackle it. So it speaks to you. It, it speaks, speaks to, to me. You. Yeah. I just feel like from, from I just feel like this. If it's history, our kids, generations to come, you should know what happened. You should know what they did to us. You should go ahead. No, I agree with you, but I'm saying sometimes we use words and we are cursing ourselves every day and we don't know what words. So so it to me it's important, even though you're looking back in the past, to, to find out where do this word derive from mm-hmm. that we are saying because you can be cursing yourself every day and don't realize that you're cursing yourself. I mean and it's I'm a, before I say that, what I'm gonna say next? Uh, did you have something? No, no. You <laughs> say what you <laughs> say what you gonna say? <laughs> no, I'm just saying because it gets so deep, even with the television. Just tell tele- a tell a lie. Let me vision. See. Yes, mm-hmm. the whole. Let me find my little notes on mm-hmm. that. If y'all, y'all got something baby, to say, y'all, I'm done. Can well, I I'm saying, here? Okay, okay go so, ahead. but I'm realizing that <laughs> me and Summer. Are coming from two different places, and I yeah. love that. Mm-hmm. Y'all are. I think, I think you coming from because <laughs> y'all in it. Go ahead. I think you're coming from a place of enlightening of words, and like Tisha said, I think the TikTokers, right, and the people who are running rampant with this, they're coming from a whole nother direction. And to see, get- that's why I say I can't be offended because. If you re- operate on two vibrations or whatever, then I can't expect them to understand where I'm coming from. Right. I guess. You know what I'm saying? I'm a motives person. So I'm always looking at the motive behind it. Mm-hmm. That's me. So I feel like if you need to teach history because it was something that occurred mm-hmm. and our kids and generations need to know what happened, what not to go back to, what to prevent, 100%. Mm-hmm. Being aware of those things or, like, being on TikTok, doing that, I don't get the motive. What is it going to do? Right. Yeah, That's I agree my, with What that. is it going to do? Besides make the next generation hate white people. Even more. And then and they're not even the ones who did it. Mm-hmm. Right. It, it's division and bitterness. Right. That's, that's, I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm coming of, uh, I'm coming from a place of watch your words because you don't curse yourself. Just know what. Just how the system is, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But like I was saying with uh, like the television program or whatever, doing this research uh, over words. Um, so like I'm going to just break down like television. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, they they chose that word because it's like programming your subconscious mind, mm-hmm. broadcasting. Right. They use that word because they're casting their spells abroad. Mm-hmm. Channel. 
it's they used they chose their word because it's uh, to channel and tune into certain frequencies. The remote mm-hmm. control control controls us remotely. Mm-hmm. Hollywood derives from um, the holly tree, which the holly tree was uh, used by druids, known as priests and wizards. Um, the holly tree, uh, they took branches off the holly tree um, to use as wands um, to cast spells and do rituals or whatever. I mean, so just these little words that we use in every day, you know, just I definitely agree like with television. They but when we have to do that with every word, though? No, I don't <laughs> think that's more or less words. I think that's more or less the frequency of of it's the frequency of what it's used for. And they gave it that name based on what it's used yes. for. Cause I know they said like anytime you hear a hip hop station or R and B station, the frequency is usually like low, low, like nineties or yeah. either high, high, like on one five. But, but the, those two numbers they say are not good frequencies that they have us on. Yeah. So I mm-hmm. do believe that the frequencies are important. And so, yeah. And so even just, um, so basically like jazz music, that's like a, a very yeah. good vibration or classical get to stimulating your mind yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. and so like they use all these different tactics with music and words to have an impact on us and so that's when it does become a spiritual warfare like you and know i just want to piggyback on that and say that john john <clears throat> todd john todd or todd john he was like a high level witch back in the 70s mm-hmm. and he uh did a uh a testimony said that they used to go into the uh go into the studio mm-hmm. and sit there about 10 of them and cast spells over records i remember that, that. that mm-hmm. play yeah so uh, it yeah. is it, it, they would cast spells and then he's like you think that the song is blowing up on the charts because it's so good but that spell has been that. cast with that r&b group exactly. to have make young girls have sex and stuff right like and that. then yeah. if you play it backwards mm-hmm. then sometimes the words like back masking or whatever but yeah, yeah. I, and I so agree. even we with, with that even though your conscious mind is not picking up on those frequencies or whatever your subconscious is always picking up on things that that's it, in it the picks background up on everything yeah 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 i agree with that but i but to, to agree with you what you said about tiktok i like tiktok when i need certain little things mm-hmm. but i do think tiktok is Another, I keep saying this, but I feel like it's another psyop to the place where we're erasing, we're erasing the act of going to do your own research in the library or in a book, and we're following these little kids that ain't even been here for twenty years, and they want to tell us about history. Yeah, and it's just like summer stuff. Like, look, girl, you ain't even had a job yet, but you're gonna tell me. Well, I need to the do one this I watched that. look like yeah. she's about 20. And it's like, like how do you even know? You won't even, you yeah. you're not even. So that's dangerous to take everything that these little people kids are saying. saying. Yeah. But that's, that's why true. I say I like to listen to people who spent their life, their blood, sweat, and tears yeah. researching this stuff. Yeah. Because I know I'm not going to go to the library and sit for eight right. hours at the end. Right. So sometimes I will get a book or get mm-hmm. some. But for the most part, I do like to watch people who did that but the internet yeah. is very very uh it's very psyopy mm-hmm. like a lot of this stuff you just can't trust you just it. don't know yeah. you just don't know yeah. especially tiktok so yeah. i agree with you on that mm-hmm. but i agree with you on the words yeah. and your viewpoint where you coming from because you're coming from a different angle yeah so i because i'm yeah. i'm big on words and the power of mm-hmm. words so but another thing is curses Everything is a curse, though, when you think about it. I, I, yeah. Because when I did, when I did some little research, I could. Well, I did on sign language, <laughs> sign language, mm-hmm. the certain words in sign language, the 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 I love you sign. This, one. right? That that sign, the peace sign. Those signs were made. Um, I think the peace sign came from the Nazis. I'm not for sure mm-hmm. yet, but I know that they don't they don't mean what we think they mean. Yeah. We took it and be like, peace in the Middle East right. with a V sign. No, that's not what it they said. So when you go back and look at these um uh bloodline people mm-hmm. or high level people, they always got that sign mm-hmm. for whatever mm-hmm. reason. It's just like, what are you saying? Right. And then that's, a lot of times they do it to the crowd. Yeah. Like they'll do that to the yeah, crowd. It's it like, is, what kind of spell are you, you know, doing yeah. on the crowd? Roll, you yeah. stuff right. And then it's like text what school got that sign? What? Who Texas Longhorns? Right. Mm, how, no. What's how to sign? Is it sound like that? Okay, so there you go. So, yeah. what was? Who was the founder? Right. What did he believe in? Was he exactly. a Freemason? That's, what was that? Well, because yeah. that, I, I don't know if it's true, but I heard you know how um, in the Satanic with the bull and the horns. Mm. Right. 
That's what I'm saying. That's where rock the, and yeah. roll is supposed right. to. Right. That's where right. the Illuminati, the Baphomet, the, mm-hmm. right, the Baphomet, exactly. Yeah. So I'm yeah. saying we, it's 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 everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, so what came to me when I was listening to Casey J. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. To my heart, if you feel that way about words, redefine them. Redefine them. You have the ability to just simply redefine the word. The first man ever created named everything. He named the dog. He named everything. If you feel a way about words, redefine them. Meaning what? Like my my morning means this. Yeah, redo, there's not a word we can't redefine. You have the power to do that mm-hmm. because the one thing that humans have above every other thing is speech. But then at what point though? Because what if I want to redefine the word "uck," but but you add an "f" to it? Can I redefine that, or should I just leave that alone? Because now you just trying to redefine everything. I'm just, uck don't mean uck. Uck mean good morning. But I'm just saying, if like, okay. But <laughs> but even if you redefined it, bottom line, if is your subconscious gonna pick up on what you redefined it as? Not if you don't want it to. Or somebody else's subconscious. You talking about? What you mean? That ain't that slang. Ain't that every word that we do? We no, yeah, you got a good point, but I'm just saying, at what point do we redefine? Don't they got to stop at a certain point? Like we can't redefine everything because it still I'm is what it if is. If you have a problem, if you have a problem, if you with have it. a okay. problem with the words. For me, words have power, but only if I give it to them. So I'm not mm. that bothered because I'm not gonna give you the. I'm not gonna give it yeah. to them. Well, I just change certain words. Like instead of saying devil eggs, I say angel eggs. I don't see. That's what a lot I just of change people, a little that, bit. Well, that's in or like the you said, conscious community too, but. <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying. But to the root well, no, of it. I'm just saying yeah. because, well, but you say that because it derives from something. I don't want to say like devil even eggs. Under, but to the root but of even it, understand. But what? even understand. A lot of people don't want to say understand because it's like you're submitting and uh, like you're under. I understand under, is so what you it's should say. Overstand or yeah. understand. But at what because point, you're, what point do you say, like how you said, I change devil eggs to angel eggs? At what point, subconscious or not, do you recognize that you're protected? Like, at what point, where's your protection? Right. Where's your faith in God? Like, at some point, where, where's no weapon formed against me? Where's your, even when it comes to words or anything, where is that at? Mm, that's a good, no. that's a good. No, no that I mean, I I don't do that with everything, but it is certain words. Like you said, you don't want to say nigga. I so don't you change say, it. I don't want to say that because I feel like it's a blow to my ancestors. No, you can redefine okay, it. Well, no, so that's no, what I'm saying. No, so it's good morning, a blow to your ancestors. No, when I when I say a blow, let me say what I mean. I mean, they fought for that. That's something that they lost their lives over. So I don't feel like it's right for me to go and throw the word around when people lost their lives and their so families. So in good morning, the fa- if it's true, then the families lost their loved ones and was mocked. Saying, but you know that's what I'm them saying? taking something and making it bad, like them taking the Bible and making it mean slavery. That it, like slavery is okay. That she said, I got something else about that. I'm saying, <laughs> it's a, to me, it's a difference between it's a difference between you taking something that you didn't create and making it have a bad meaning mm-hmm. versus. I know that my people fought over this word and lost their lives. There was a consequence. Something happened. They were dogged out. I don't feel comfortable throwing that around when people lost their lives over that. Mm-hmm. Like, they wouldn't find it funny. They wouldn't find it okay. But you can, but you can redefine it. What you mean? You, you we have. We say, we say it with a. I said if it bothers you. Well, I'm saying okay. Google this. Okay. And viewers. Google it too because I may be wrong, but it's the word nigger. What about it? Probably, it's the word that KRS one. He was basically like he don't get offended because nigger means a king. Nig the word nigger. So he mm-hmm. was like, if somebody call you nigger, embrace that because that they means re- but they don't they don't. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. They didn't change these words in our dictionary. And does it mean nigger or does it mean Yeah, it ignorance? says nigger, it's nigger. The, the true origin translates into a title of an Ethiopian niggas, or African niggas. king. Yes, niggas. was a king, yes. Yeah. And so that's what he was like. And they may have. They, but because it was used in a, de- a derogatory form, I, you're saying. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying. So that's what with words in general that were used in a derogatory form. Which will make like, it true because they never want us to know who we were. Yeah. So it could mm-hmm. be, you could change. So they're going to try to change it and make it like it's something to look And it could have been a way like, 
You so, think you a nigga, but meaning like you think you a king. Or they, but so if we like, can embrace that them, why we can't embrace the good morning like, if they change that? Because right, knew. you thought I was mourning over my baby, but I love my baby. I'm just saying, ain't that the yeah. same? I'm keep, ain't that the same thing? It is the same. I'm not arguing with you there. Like I, I, I understand what it's you're saying. It's the same thing. Yeah. If they took niggas and made it nigger and made it bad, and we should embrace it, then if they took good morning and made it bad, shouldn't we embrace it? And how's that different? I'm just saying. No, what's yeah, the I agree with. But see, but the difference in that is because niggas originated <laughs> from. <laughs> <laughs> niggas originated from yeah. a, a powerful a good meaning it good so vibration good morning it originated before they took it i guess i didn't hear what good morning originated from it, like it, what was it originated real? i i want to say in england yeah it it, did. in the middle it was east. a uh, some yeah. man wrote a poem or yeah, something yeah in the middle and east, in the poem he said slavery, good morning yeah okay it was like 1400 to 1500 okay okay so now that makes sense with my argument because still i'm like okay but it's still i'm still connecting it to it meaning he said but he said but it was morning that you spell it not the way they used it so he said uh i wish you a good morning and he did like in 1400 or 1500 okay he started it yeah in england or and something like that. and how did he spell it m-o-r they got or, m-o-r but it might have been another way back yeah, then because the okay. english has changed so yes. it's like 1500 so i'm saying he they took it and made it bad like everything else so mm-hmm. I, I just okay. i'm like how is that any different yeah but i still go back to we don't know if they did that but you saying you believe I, because I don't know. Well, Dan I, I believe they probably could have did that. Yeah, they could have mocked and been, you know, a mockery and yeah. did that. But I'm just like TikTokers. Why are we? But I'm saying, see, my confusion because I just don't like the fact that I think our language may be the only language that has words that mean three, two or three different things, and that to me is for a purpose. Like mm-hmm. you're trying to. You know what I'm saying? Like that came from me- God. Though. Mess with my came from what? God. What? They came from God. The language. Oh, when he the, separated the languages Babel, because. Mm-hmm. But I thought he separated the language meaning the tongue. He did. But but they what they do so now you got words that mean he one just thing. Took the people Greek. from their native. I mean, like. Okay, don't get me on it. He did. He he he, he separated too. Some yeah. He, he separated that, that. He but he changed the languages to because they were acting out. So he switched. He. He divided they were them. doing what we're trying to do today. Right. But I'm saying, but that's to me is different than. So these what, words, are you saying are from God or from man? No, I'm saying I the switch up. Because, because, words. No, she did the act of switching switch up. Switch them up. Because now you got a, de- de- a definition in Greek. Like my name means three different things. It means one thing in the Greek. It means one thing in America. It means something else. That's how you get the switch yeah. up of like different meanings. Because right. if you switch the language, you're going to switch the meaning. Well, like, I do shife, agree. Shife means. The S word for us yeah. in another country. And see, that's why they say you got to be careful when you go to other countries doing different gestures yeah. because it could be it a means sign something of disrespect. Else. Right. Yeah. So, so, yeah. It's about that time. Is it out? No. We got, it, what time we it was 140. Oh, okay. okay. But we do have Dang. another. Um, We have a rapid fire if y'all want to move on. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, speaking of TikTok, uh, I wanted to throw out, Um, I've been seeing online on the, with the TikTokers. Oh, we that, wanted that one? Oh, which one we going to? I thought we was going to keep that one for the... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> edit that, edit that, Mason. Um, this, uh, this rapid fire was things that turn you on in a mate or a man or somebody and, and things that are turnoffs. Y'all don't remember that one? Yeah, I remember it. But you didn't <laughs> <really> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't really nothing to so research, what but I didn't even do? think about it. We can go to yours. If no, you we can do it. If okay, what is it? Now? Okay, so things that turn you on. This was one of y'all's. That's, that's so easy. I had to see it. Yeah. Things, okay, that, yeah. things that turn you on, things that turn you, you off. That things one. that turn you on in a mate and things that turn, turn you, you off. off. Things that turn me on in a mate. What turns me on? Okay, so what? here I go saying one thing to me. But I to me, what turns me on is when you don't pay me, when you don't pay me dust sometimes. Like hey, you what? what? I, I'd like to see my mate be focused on something that turns me on. Oh, oh you mean their yeah. own their own journey, their, their own, own path. They're focused on. on what they need to be. What they're trying to do. Some yes, elevate. motivated and focused on that, and you're just ingraining that, and you're moving, and you're yeah. shaking, and you're trying to get somewhere. That turns me mm-hmm. on because that lets me know that you're thinking of the future and you're thinking about your family. That's a good one. I That's love good. that. Yeah. Like to see you. I mean, even if you're just in there, like reading something or typing up, looking up, just being yeah. so like 
hone yeah, in feeding on your brain. brain and right. do, yeah. Yes. What's a turn off for you? Not doing it. You feel like <laughs> they're not the a leader if they don't do that. They're not. They're not putting you on. They're not. They're not uplifting you. Yeah. I know. Like you feel like they're not grown. They're not trying to grow. I think any. a turn off is not to lead and not to. to th- I want to. I want to be taught. Me too. Ooh, I want to be taught by too. my I man. Too. Yeah, I love that. One. So I think when you teach your lady, that that brings about submission for you guys who want a woman to submit mm, because you're good. teaching me. I want to. I want to learn, exactly. and I want to learn from you, my king. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nigga. <What you> <laughs> well, well, I would yeah, my nigga. say a turn off for me. Well, a turn on for me would be um, if somebody is like. Like, nigga, <laughs> freestyling this one. Good, okay. <laughs> I'm waiting until this gonna be good. No, I'm just saying, like that says a lot for a person if they really know you, like get to know mm. you. Like mm. that show me that you, Not, that show me yeah. that you're paying attention to me. You can you can tell me you know what my likes and dislikes are. Like you're in a little in tune with me, and you are really that. Um, attentive to pay attention to yeah. what what it's gonna you know what i'm saying right. my likes and dislikes you can order you know? my food when i'm not even there. yeah like you know me mm-hmm. so versus somebody who not into you you can they don't care they're not trying to learn you right you know what i'm saying they just want to get what they can get exactly what's so a, turn a turn off for you oh damn <laughs> <laughs> she's saying expect that yeah uh, a damn. turn off i'm gonna say somebody it kind of aligns with what Tisha was saying. If you're not about your business, like Stagnant, you're not just complacent. Yeah, like you need to have yourself. a drive. Yeah, oh, you okay. need to have a drive. So ambish, ambition, ambition, and you don't have to be all up under me every day, all mm. day. <laughs> you don't. Like I mean, we we can we can cuddle and we can do all of that, but it's a time to go our separate, separate ways, ways and take and your do, business. I've yes, been calling me like absolutely. you had like a dude because of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I get it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what about you, Tanji? I think Tanji, Tanji. Um, a turn on for me is men who understand women, who take the time to mm-hmm. look at black women specifically mm-hmm. and not just call them crazy, controlling. Yes. Um, what's another one? Jealous. When they say, oh, no, black women aren't that way. Y'all made them that way. Mm -hmm. And then you make them a certain way and then you want to call them. Right. right. I like men who can understand women. Um, I did my research. I'm like them. So I have a few. (laughs) 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 I also this is this might be my new, but I still love it. I love Mm -hmm. when a man can respect when it's a woman's time of the month and he's compassionate like okay. my daughter Corey, her boyfriend gives her like a cycle care kit every month where it's oh, like ginger ale in there, Wait. chocolates, yeah. her favorite hot uh-huh. chips. I think that's like you said, that's being attentive. attentive that's sweet. Exactly. That, I, I think that's so sweet. Yeah. Um, another thing that I found recently because mm-hmm. I'm I'm single and so I'm out. I kind of you know, mm-hmm. but I love it when a man holds his body and doesn't just share it with everybody and he sees value and mm-hmm. he's like I'm not creating soul ties. I love okay. when a yeah. man when um what well, <laughs> yeah she said yeah well I'm gonna say I'm gonna add this to it because I was watching a video and I can't it was a guy I think Erica sent me the video but basically saying you have to break these soul ties. Mm-hmm. Like people who you have yep had sex, had within, sex the within the past, you need to go yep. a, and break those soul, soul ties. ties. Yep. So yep. that's a yeah. That's I love good. when a man does that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't see that too often. Yeah. I value yeah. my body too, yeah. and I'm not just gonna be out here creating soul mm-hmm. ties. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's um, true. I think a turn off for me is inconsistent. I I I can't stand when a man is not consistent. Mm-hmm. Oh, that yeah. this. Or like when you're dating, I know y'all ain't in that world, and it's like good morning, good afternoon, mm-hmm. hey beautiful, but you ain't made no plans. You're not right. talking about, you know, booking no flights. Yeah, do something. Okay, right. um, we, we need to get out of that phase. Yeah, right. that was the yeah. I Move think on to the um, next stage. another turn off for me is a man who bad with money. Mm. I as as a provider, like you can't just like no. be throwing money that's, away. That's self-explanatory. And then the third one I'll say is. Uh, when a man has insecurities that causes assumptions, I know mm-hmm. that men ha- and can't communicate them. 
Oh. Men are just as emotional as women. Yeah. But they don't their emotions don't come out the same way as a woman's mm-hmm. does. They may not cry or lash out, but when you have insecurities and so you don't communicate properly or you mm-hmm. make assumptions, I, I don't like that. Right? Yeah. Just just ask a woman, just talk. Yeah. Communication is key. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Was. Researching it. So did you research that or just, just, just dug into your you, depths just, of your soul? Yeah. Just looking at, like, looking back over the years, like, when you look about some of the men that you dated and some of the things, like, if you knew then what you know mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. like, I've had men that you don't realize it in a time, they're, like, competing with you, they don't up you, like, they yeah. always got something to say, mm. like, just looking at some of that so stuff. So, that's another good point, that turn-ons and turn-offs will change. Yeah, once you 100%. experience something, yeah, because now I appreciate a good father, a man yeah. who's a good, not a Facebook daddy, yeah, a man who a man is a good, good father. father. That's father. Yes. That's yeah. Larry J. I say this all the time, and I tell it to him. Mm-hmm. I give Jay kudos. Mm-hmm. Jay is it's sound weird because he's my cousin, mm-hmm. but he handsome. Y'all know how he mm-hmm. look. So he's he not he ain't ugly and got to put up with nothing. He's yeah. a handsome dude, but he just started his own business. Okay, he's nephew. Been, okay. Shout out to Jay. He just <laughs> started his own trucking company. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's oh, okay. I'm tripping. <laughs> they all your nieces and nephews. Yeah. Mm. That's right. And so um, he started his own trucking company. Mm-hmm. He's been a father to his kids forever. I'm talking about Coleman. Ask him, do he Coleman need a dispatcher? Hair? You need okay, a dispatcher. Need a dis- I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I said, we coming to Vegas. Can you get off work? He was like, I am the work. Oh, okay, my own business. Right. But, um, he got his own truck now? Yeah, he got his own trucking company. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, he got up. his own trucking company. Um, but, like, I'm talking about, like, combing hair, come home from work, cooking, paying the bills, cleaning yeah. the house. A man. Yeah. So, you know, I, I like good. Got dads. his own place, right? Yeah, he yes. He got yep. a big old house in Vegas. Mm. Two story, okay. immaculate, clean. Girl, yes. Okay. Girl, okay. you're gonna have somebody right. saying, Where he at? Okay. The girls who are watching that gonna be like, Where he at? You don't you done hyped him up, child. <laughs> <laughs> they might they might be in the comment section yeah, just for this. Now they look like Larry J. Let me go see right. if you follow the page. Be on yeah. Facebook, <laughs> on TNG page, looking on our friends. Yeah. Yeah. So a good dad, a good Yeah. Yeah, that's important too. That is. Yeah. That is. What else? You what else? What you think is a um, uh, a turn off? Oh, see. I got one more, y'all. Uh huh. Okay. A man, man, like he cut the grass. Oh, he put the yeah. gas in the car. Mm. All changes. That part, right? Yeah. Yes. Fix the, Take your load repairs. off. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. What about you? Well, I know you got to have some others. Um, I, I, um, I always say this, but I, I truly won't, won't, um. I'm, I'm turned on when you when you love the Lord. I know yeah. I, I kind of fumbled that. <laughs> I was like, I, 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 uh, I'm thinking yeah, of, but no, that love the I Lord. do, I do for me because I feel like you. Um, sometimes I'm not saying all the times, but what like if like if you feel like you don't have to do that, sometimes I think a man's pride mm. doesn't make them want to submit to anyone. Mm-hmm whether it be God or anything. So sometimes when you let that pride down, you can submit and then right. that would lead the woman to submit to you. Like a lot of times if you're going through stuff, it's like, go pray about that. Go you can't, pray. You, you can't, have to have God involved. You got to go pray you about that. To, you have to have the Lord yeah, involved. You can't, it's, and I've, I've seen decisions go away when he's not involved or, yes. or overreactions right. goes away Absolutely. when he's, when, I mean, overreactions occur mm-hmm. when he's not mm-hmm. involved i think the thing um not to get off subject or on a tangent but uh when you say that having god involved for me there have been times in my relationship where you know we may be at odds of bickering and i tell a man in a minute you ain't even got to correct me sometimes mm-hmm. i can go pray or get god involved mm-hmm. and i come back mm-hmm. to you he'll and convict say, me yeah mm-hmm. he'll do it but i come back and say i'm sorry or i was right. wrong about what i did but Absolutely. you're right if a man don't have any of that mm-hmm. he don't have god to get him involved it's like he can just the pride yeah. i can just i mean i wasn't wrong Right mm-hmm. or every, nothing is no big deal. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. When, when oh you don't have gosh. any conviction, nothing is no, no big, big deal. deal. But yes, when you true. you have to have something, some things have to be a big deal. Yeah, yeah. because you right. need to address that. Because if see, it's not that serious, it's going to continue. So you know what? Tish, yeah. What men don't understand is it's the things that are the not big things that are the big because it's a mm, seed, it's right? Small, and it's it's just it can small grow and grow. Yes. Yes. It can grow. Yeah. I, I hate when somebody be like it's not that big of a deal. Right now, wait till it grows roots and it's hanging over. Yeah, that is so true. Right. 
Right. That is right. so true. But I mean, yeah, I do agree. You do have to have God involved in everything. Um, hold on. Because you like balance. <laughs> so that's probably why you go say. <laughs> <laughs> This is our topic too. They're gonna say it is. Oh, it's it's her topic. They're gonna say why they bring this one back up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I'm just saying you do have to have God involved in it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Wait, you go got on. that. <laughs> just girl said we gonna let that go. Uh, oh, that she was saying let's edit that part. It's like, uh, uh. <laughs> um, we can no, I agree. I agree with that. You you gotta have him. Uh, yeah, what else you do. do I, um, you do. Um, but the when you said a man's man, I love that. Yeah, that is that is because yeah. you don't see that yeah, very do. often. Do. You don't see that. Oh, a turn off to me too. I don't like men that's on social media too much. Oh hell no! Mm. Me neither. Too much. You can't put your phone down. You're doing too you much. always scroll. And your I whole agree. your I whole agree. page is a model casting call. Like you hoping you'll be scouted because you didn't got so many selfies and. You sitting yeah. with your hands tucked That's in your jeans. That's a little feminine to me. I'm I don't. Honest. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't like that at all. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. um, I no. agree. Yeah. If you want to post every day, I dated somebody. It was a big social media person. It was. Oh, did you know this happened today? And uh, I'm the first one to find out. And I'm like, I don't care that much. Right. Yeah. It's not and that it's serious. like, get off of social media and actually spend time with me and live your actual okay. life rather than right. pretending. Yeah, to that's true. Live right. a life. Right. I don't right. like that either. And I think another thing that all women can appreciate women. We love spontaneous men. Yes. You got to mm-hmm. be spontaneous mm-hmm. to Switch keep us up. spontaneous. Yes. You can't yeah. expect the woman to be spontaneous with you if you're not. And that's in my thought, I feel like we women, the more you give to a woman, the, the more the woman give wants to, to give to, to you. you. Naturally, so you will be. You will be overflowed with blessings. You don't even have a to ask you for a woman to do anything. Because you are so because, good to yeah, her and you're so spontaneous so with her that it will just come. Yep. It will just come. I mean, yeah. you'll get out the shower and everything will be laid out in the bed okay, for you. Okay, here because, goes your yeah. towel. Because baby. you are yeah. so yeah. good to the So I think that the more I grow and the older I get, I realize a man sets the tone. For how 100%. a woman treats you. He, the, the Unless you just got an asshole, no good woman, because they're, they're, they're out they're there too. Those. Just yeah. trifling's out there yeah. too. But I'm saying for the most part, a woman wants to love you because she's a nurturer mm-hmm. by heart. That's right. Yeah. She wants to love you and care for you. She wants to do all those things for you, but you have to give her that guard has to come down. And you the guard it, can yeah. only come down when you set yeah. the tone and give her the space set and the capacity her. to do it right. but i think that's what i was trying to say with where god <laughs> has to be involved <laughs> yeah. because a woman that's like how i think a woman is more willing to let you allow you to lead them when they know that you're going to god yeah. like you're being led by yeah. god you right. know what 100%. i'm saying because you know and not by your own desires of exactly. flesh or because you'll leave us go down a, a river of nowhere yeah yeah that's why i always say proper love produces a proper response mm-hmm. yeah if a man loves his woman properly she will respond accordingly yeah. according there's never no fails. way she would do never fails. unless she you just know. like you said unless trash. She yeah yeah try because they got those too so that's what i'm saying but you're right it never yeah. fail it's yeah. gonna always come back a hundredfold mm-hmm. to you because she gonna make and sure you take taking care she, of it first all right in all aspects yes. you ain't gonna have to ask for none you're gonna be tired of having sex because she's gonna always she gonna want be jumping to get, on yeah you. jumping on you yeah i'm gonna share this part of vulnerability with with me because i'm the single one on the panel but mm-hmm. i have never um been able to give a hundred percent of myself to a man even in a marriage mm-hmm. even in my marriage and that's sad mm-hmm. and n- the, now I've been single for three years, of course, just not even really paying much attention to dating because Mm -hmm. of that reason. Mm -hmm. Until I find a man that I can give 100% of myself to, to, no. I don't want to come and give another 70%. I want to love to my fullest capacity. Right. And if they don't make me feel secure or comfortable enough to give 100% because they can't hold that with their Mm -hmm. vessel, I'm not giving it. Yeah. Period. Right. Because loving just partial isn't wouldn't you consider that stressful Girl, because you have because to constantly be on guard right you're not being all that you are right you're not right. like yeah summer you know you're a mother loving yeah. nurturing kind, like mm-hmm. you're not giving every side of you mm-hmm. right so, you know what i mean like you're like, holding back for one because yes. yeah so so a man might be getting pieces of you and mm-hmm. not even say pieces. holding back but you don't even have the desire to if you're only getting half of it 
you're not even tapping into what all you can really bring freakiness to this and everything. You, you all that was shut down. It was shut down. <laughs> you so be desert all, all that. Yeah. Everything was yeah. everything was shut down. Yeah. Right. It, um, a woman can. I think a man, and that's who said that. One of y'all said that he needs right. to know a woman or know. Yeah. If you so know, ch- if you know, <laughs> if you know women. <laughs> Or know a woman, because I think when you you can say women and still be good be, on this aspect, yeah. because we're all kind of wired the same in that aspect to where everything was shut down. It will everything yeah. was it shut will down. It will you woman. will be like it's a whole new person I'm with mm-hmm. now because, and then you'd be like, what happened? And mm-hmm. then it's like because, like you said. Yeah, I'm not able to exactly. do. I'm not able to to to, to be myself. That's with you why are. men and women can't say what a man or woman was like. Can't no man say, "Well, when I was with Tisha, she was this way," because she might not have she been got a herself right. with you. Exactly. She might be a different person with somebody else. You didn't. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. You exactly. didn't open right. that up. You didn't. Right. Know so, I mean, that's right. like some. That's yeah. Like for the men, if your woman is not giving you her all or whatever, yeah. or. You gotta, it, it may you may have to instead of always looking at the woman questioning come, the woman you need on. to question you need to bring it back to self mm-hmm. because it may be something that you're not you know paying attention to being aware of and what you i know? would say is that a man should look at himself in his relationship or whatever and say what i want my daughter with me Mm. If you wouldn't want your daughter exactly. with you, then that's a problem. You be are the, out of line. Then it's right. Be the man that your daughter. Your, I, that's that that all the time. So be the man you so want true. your because they get all uptight about daughter. daughter. Yes. Yeah, they do. But yes. you don't realize. I said this like a couple of shows ago. You sow the seed for your daughter oh, by yeah. being the man that you mm-hmm. are to a woman. Oh, it's yeah. it may not always come back Basically on you. Karma. It may come back on your daughter. On your daughter. So would you want your daughter with you? When you would would you come if you came home to your daughter and seen seeing her with you, how would you feel? Mm-hmm. It would feel so good. If you it. knew um yeah, a man was treating your daughter the way you treat right. women. Or lack of treatment. Yeah. Right. That's true. Because you would want the best for baby girl, exactly. right? Exactly. So if you're in a relationship, give the best to that woman that you are with. And if you can't if you don't have a desire to give the, give your all to that woman, then she may not be the woman that Let you go. want. Right. Let her go. Because her go. if you can't tap in and bring it out, that's true come too. on with it. That's true, too. You was just talking to somebody's spirit right there on that camera. Okay. Said, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> like, right. like, I don't know who needs to hear that word. <laughs> somebody who <laughs> word. somebody <laughs> just got hit with the spirit. Baby, I didn't Edgar even know what you after that. It was like, <laughs> yeah. Let that woman go because in your heart, uh, baby, she went right yes. there. That's all. Baby, she looked right in that, in that camera right there. You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's somebody after. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm you know. telling you. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, baby, you went. I was like, and, and, and that, that what you said last said, that's all, folks, because she done went there. What we say after that? That girl looked right in that camera. Who said that? Who said that? Mike, you? She did you know it last saying, week. Which one say a beat a beat a beat? A beat. <laughs> oh, Looney Tune. <laughs> Looney Tune. <laughs> but last week, or one of the weeks, you said, and that, and that, and that's, that's maybe that was your rapper and, thing and, coming out, like your DJ oh, thing. Oh, okay. Did I do that? Yeah, you oh, said, and that, so and that, and that all, folks. So. I'm a lady. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. So I think that's give us it. y'all's <laughs> feedback on these topics. Yeah. Tell us what what are some turn ons and turn offs for you guys mm-hmm. and whoever was listening to summer. You heard what she said. You heard what she yeah. said. She said what she said. Yeah. yeah. Just, she might not be the one for you. Mm-hmm. It might be and me. You might not be the one. I'm yeah. just kidding because they <laughs> sure don't want to deal with me, baby. Because I am not easy peasy. <sighs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's saying easy peasy. All, All right, right, y'all. Child. Bye.